ओम श्री साई राम वेलकम टू प्रशांति संदेश हियर आई वुड लाइक टू ब्रिंग योर अटेंशन दैट स्वामी कैन एश्यूम एनी फॉर्म ही कैन टेक अपॉन हिमसेल्फ एनी फॉर्म ही वेल्स डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द सिचुएशन एंड द नीड इन दिस I would like to give you three instances, and there are several instances for that matter. But these are enough to know that all forms are his and all names are his. For example, let us take the first. Let us take the first one relates to. Dr B Ramakrishna Rao a very very famous man in this country he served as the governor in several states he also served as chief minister in hyderabad state he served in various capacities very close to swami dr burgula ramakrishna rao and he is a very close ardent devotee of bhagwan and dr ramakrishna rao is responsible for bhagwan's trip to east africa swami loves him very much because wherever he was in whatever capacity he was he always gave him a royal treatment a royal treatment in fact i should say dr burgul ramakrishna rao is the very embodiment of humility simplicity i may add in this connection that he knows around 14 languages the like of whom i have not come across till this day let me relate his experience the couple were traveling in a train and being a governor they were allotted as complete separate compartment they were sitting there and the training is the train is running very fast at high speed suddenly the wife of ram krishna rao noticed some fire towards the top fire coming out of the wires there she is very much worried what to do it's midnight the train running fast and in the whole of the compartment the couple were only there at that moment suddenly they found a, an electrician with his equipment getting into the compartment opening the door it is really a wonder how this electrician could get into the compartment opening the door while the train is running fast all right the electrician got in immediately said i'll help you with the equipment he was carrying he has put off the complete fire there the fire is completely extinguished and the whole problem is resolved after the work is over the couple are, are peaceful now then this electrician sat near the door mind you the train is running fast suddenly the wife of ram krishna rao felt how is this man here he is still sitting here how could he get in when is he going to quit probably he may be a thief he may be a a a, a robber who will help us at this moment that's what they were feeling after a couple of minutes the electrician got up and said amma i'm leaving please shut the door be careful so saying he has left himself how the train is running fast nobody knew the couple closed the door somehow they completed the journey reached the destination 
after two or three months, the couple were traveling along with their bodyguards or ADC in a flight to another state. He was in the capacity of a governor. Well, the flight was going on, but the engine picked up some problem somewhere. And the pilot announced that the flight is in a problem. Aeroplane left side engine is giving trouble. So he gave, he gave a caution announcement to the couple there. They were very panicky. What to do? The pilot happens to be the devotee of Bhagwan. One of the bodyguards is a devotee of Bhagwan. That Ramakrishna couple themselves are ideal devotees. They were all praying to Swami. The, the flight was going on. It is on its way, but the engine got repaired on its own without anybody's help. And the flight could land successfully and Ramakrishna couple got down and then Dr. Ramakrishna gave a phone call to Bhagwan Baba thanking him. Swami, you saved us. The flight is facing a, a grave situation. Well, we might, uh, we might have lost our lives. You saved us. Thank you, Swami. Then Bhagwan laughed and said, blessed him, and said, you are telling this. Why don't you mention about that train? I saved you also. And your wife mistook me as a thief. And Swami laughed. And these people could remind themselves of the previous incident of uh, the train, the electricity, uh, giving a problem where they could find a flame coming out of that wires. This is an instance to let you know that Bhagwan has taken the form of an electrician. And then let me also give you another example of a great man of a uh, of West Godavari district in Andhra Pradesh. There is one village by name Illindalaparru. Illindalaparru. And this man belongs to that village. His name is P. Viswanatha Sharma. P. Viswanatha Sharma. At one time he was the district president. Viswanatha Sharma is a very ardent devotee of Bhagwan Baba, an elderly man. People say, as he describes the stories of Sridi Bhagwan and all the leelas of Satya Sai Bhagwan, he can spend day and night in his company. He is known for his excellent narration, excellent skills of communication. And this P. Viswanatha Sharma happened to visit my hometown all this had happened about 45 years ago. My hometown, Guntur, in Andhra Pradesh, Vishnu Sharma came and attended our Samiti Bhajan. And we all requested him to address us. Vishnu Sharma spoke of this instance. It seems he was there in Kuvur that year in the month of May 6th, which happens to be Easter Day. We all know that we celebrate Easter Day in a big way, and the whole of the program is managed by children, right from Nagar Sankirtan up to the uh, presentation of cultural programs in the evening. Okay, in Kovur, this program was taking place, and P. Vishwanath Sarma happened to be there in Kovur on that day. He was talking to the Samiti President of Kovur, West Godavari, by name M. Surya Narayana Murthy. M. Surya Narayana Murthy, the President of Kovur Satya Sai Seva Samiti. Of course, besides that, he is an officer in State Bank of India. Well, whole program was going on. It was the time for Narayana Seva. Children were distributing food to all the poor people 
who are seated in regular rows as per our system. A, a railway porter came over there stretching his hands and requested children to give him food. Naturally our children gave him two packets of food and some sweets. The railway porter ate them and went to a tap which was so close and then he washed everything and uh, left those left over over there and then he came close to these two people P. Vishnada Sharma and M. Surnarayana Murthy who were in deep conversation with each other at that moment. You know railway porters wear khaki nikar, blue shirt and red turban. What was the discussion between these two elderly people? They were talking why many devotees are not attending our Samiti bhajans. Why many are not participating in our service activities? Why most of the people are absent for Nagar Sankirtan? Why? They were discussing along these lines. The railway porter who came close to them suddenly raised his voice and said, Surana and Murti, well, they were taken by surprise. They were shocked. A railway porter calling him by name like that, raising his voice, they could not believe. And this porter started speaking. You are talking why people are not attending. But are you attending regularly? Have you participated in Nagar Sankirtan? Have you attended any bhajan? Well, you don't participate and you blame members. Being leaders of the organization, you should set an example for others. You are at fault. When the porter was shouting like that, Surna and Murti, the president of Sai Center, could understand. He is no ordinary porter. He must have been Sai Baba himself. Because no one dared to call him by name. Shout like that. Immediately went home opened the almayra and picked up two silk dhotis. His wife asked him, where are you taking them? You keep quiet. Baba is there. I should rush to that place. So he took these two silk dhotis and went there. And he found the porter. Of course, such a Sai Baba in the form of porter. He gave these two dhotis to that railway porter. And the railway porter once again shouted, Why do you give me? Did I not tell you that no one should present me clothes like this? During my birthday, he said it. Then they could recall that day, that year, during the birthday celebrations, Swami said, no one should present him clothes whatsoever. That, then they could understand, he is certainly such Sai Baba who came there in the form of a porter. It was that then the porter picked up these two dhotis. If I refuse, you will cry, I know. Now these two belong to me. So talking, the railway porter started leaving that spot, watching the poor people on either side, gave these two silk dhotis to the poorest of the poor, and then disappeared from there. This is an instance to let you know that Swami may come in any form he prefers, as he wills. In the case of Ramakrishna, he came in the form of electrician. And in the case of Vishnu Sharma, he came in the form of a railway porter. Then I'll tell you very briefly the third instance. There is a lecturer from Rundavan campus. He was a student at that time, studying in the city, uh, pursuing his studies, postgraduate studies. And then it was the time of examination and this boy went to the university. As you know, it will take one hour from the hostel to the university. This boy went there for the examination to the university at Bangalore to appear for his final examination. Well, it's most unfortunate that he forgot his hall ticket. The for he forgot the hall ticket. As you know, rules do not permit anyone to get into the examination hall without the hall ticket. He was so helpless and desperate. 
because you could not go back and travel for one hour and come back. It will take one hour. By that time, exhaustion may be over. He was praying to Swami. Suddenly, Pune came from somewhere. Sir, this is your your hall ticket. You take it and go. So, showing that hall ticket, he could go and write his examination. He returned in the evening during darshan time. This boy said, "Swami, I have written well. I fared very well in the examination." Then Baba said, "You have forgotten your hall ticket. Don't you know that is a must? You have forgotten your ticket here in the hostel." Then the boy said, "Swami, some pune gave me. No, no, he is no pune. I myself came there and gave you the hall ticket." Thus, Swami has come in the form of a pune in the case of this lecturer who is still working in Brindavan by name Ravi Kumar, Department of Chemistry. Therefore, to sum up, Swami has come up in the form of has come in the form of an electrician in the uh, life of Dr. Burgul Ramakrishna Rao, and he has come in the form of. A railway porter, as we witnessed in Pudili Vishnu Nath Sharma case, and here you will find Swami taking the form of a pune to hand over the hall ticket. Thank you very much for your time, Sai Ram.